Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be talking to you about something that is for sure to shock and awe all of you. I'm going to be talking about Chinese Overwatch. In collaboration with Leg Day and Geo, we've made a series of videos about the recent Shanghai Masters show matches between all four of the Chinese Overwatch League teams. Geo talked about the Hangzhou Spark, while Leg Day covered both the Shanghai Dragons and the Guangzhou Charge, which left me to talk about my favorite team in Overwatch League, the Chengdu Hunters. You can find Geo's and Leg Day's videos in the description below as I have linked them there. Without further ado, let's get into the video. This is 5 things we learned about the Chengdu Hunters from the Shanghai Masters. Number 1. Leave's Huge Hero Pool Leave made his debut for the Chengdu Hunters against the Guangzhou Charge and right off the bat you could see the myriad of different heroes he was able to play at a high level. From Reaper, to Doomfist, to Tracer, to Sombra, to Widowmaker, to Bastion, and to Symmetra, the list goes on and on. It seems like there's nothing Leave can't play, which in turn opens Chengdu up to being able to play almost anything that they want compositionally, as we saw Chengdu bring out a ton of different looks during the Shanghai Masters. Leave has an incredible understanding of each hero he picks up and is rumored to be able to pick up new heroes quickly as well. Chengdu essentially has a player akin to a Swiss army knife in their toolkit, one that can do anything that the team needs to give them the best chance at winning. Number 2. The pure Chinese Overwatch style lives on, for better or for worse. Something that was learned last year from Chengdu's play is that the meta does not matter to this team in the slightest. They will play towards their strengths even if that means picking a hero or a composition that is not in the meta at the moment. This leads often to viewers scratching their heads and wondering what exactly is Chengdu hoping to gain with this type of play. Chinese Overwatch has always been like that though. They value comfort over the meta. Their style has always been a bit frantic and chaotic with ultimates getting thrown out willy-nilly in lost fights or plays being made that really don't make a lot of sense but are being made just for the sake of thinking you can 1v9 the enemy team. Chengdu thrives in the chaos and are much more comfortable winning through pure mechanical skill which they have a ton of. It takes a very good and coordinated team like the Shanghai Dragons who beat them 4-0 in the grand finals of the Shanghai Masters to be able to overcome the Chengdu Hunter's style. However, if you take Chengdu lightly and don't prepare for them, they will be a very tough opponent. Number 3. Ameng's Hammond has still got it. Ameng burst onto the scene last year with his play on Hammond specifically. It is somewhat now synonymous with him, and he's shown to have a mastery of the hero above most others in Overwatch League. We saw at the Shanghai Masters that these skills, much like riding a bike, haven't left Ameng at all, even through this meta where he's been playing mostly Orisa. The good thing about Ameng is that he is also a legacy Orisa player from his time back in Chinese Contenders with Moss 7 Club back in 2018. Chengdu in the current meta have an ability to have their cake and eat it too with their main tank position. They are able to stick to the meta with Orisa or they can move over to Hammond and Chengdu can unleash a whole plethora of other compositions. With whispers of Hammond being a great pick in the next meta, Chengdu and Ameng are ready to go should that be the case. Number 4. Jin Mu's Farah is one of the best in the world. The truly elite Farah players in Overwatch League are few and far between. This is where you put your Neros, your Fletas, your Dings, and also Jin Mu. Jin Mu has an incredible mastery of Farah and the hero in almost every aspect of how it's played. His movement is by far one of the best attributes seeming to almost effortlessly be able to use his cooldowns on Farah to get into the exact position he needs to be at the exact time. Jinmu on Farah is a legitimate hard carry threat that every team should be wary of come Overwatch League Season 3. Even if Farah isn't in the meta, Jinmu will still play it and he will be someone you need to deal with. Number 5. Chengdu can get even better than they are currently. Chengdu as an organization is all in on the full Chinese roster. In their brief history as a team, they have managed to acquire the best all-around Chinese player in the world in Leave, the best Chinese main support in Ivelto, and one of the best Chinese DPS in Jinmu. However, there's still room where this team can grow and they have all the means to do so. With rumors of Coldus, who is my favorite player, and without a doubt the best Chinese flex support being signed to Chengdu, they could possibly add another star Chinese player to their roster. With a good amount of Chinese talent also waiting in the wings in contenders like Shy and Over, what's not to like about picking Chengdu as a team you'd want to be signed to if you're a Chinese player? And that's my list of the 5 things we've learned from the Shanghai Masters about the Chengdu Hunters. I hope you enjoyed me talking about more Chinese Overwatch because I do it a lot. Make sure to check out Geo and Leg Day's videos on their respective channels which are linked in the description below. They have some great content that you're sure to love so go watch their videos and give them a like. Also don't forget to like and subscribe right here on this channel. Until next time everyone, I've been Kenobi and I'll see you next time.